What's up guys and welcome to today's video. I'm going to take you through a home workout. I know this is long overdue, but I am supplying it with you now. Instead of doing like a full body one or like a complete upper body one, I'm going to give you a tricep, chest and delt workout. The problem is obviously we don't have free weights to use. We're only using body weight and the assistance of some bands. So it's going to be tough to overload the muscles with certain exercises. So we are really going to have to increase the volume and push to failure on a lot of these exercises. So, I'm gonna start off with the first one, the most challenging one, and that is going to be a handstand push-up. I don't wanna destroy that wall behind me. Jeez. Okay. yourself a rest in between those the more reps you'll be able to get out but I imagine the more practice you do with this the better you're gonna get so that is exercise number one so the next exercise we're gonna do is a superset we're gonna do a press up into a banded lateral raise now with these press ups it's easy to bash out the press ups what we're gonna do is try to make them as hard as we possibly can do so what I mean by that is trying to maintain as much tension as possible on the pec we're trying to work the pec in not too much of the front delt and we're going to go really slow with the tempo, okay? Like, really slow. I'm talking like a three second negative. So hands underneath chest. Don't protract too much. Pinch the shoulders back and keep them locked. Three, two, one. Squeeze the chest. Three, two, one. Squeeze the chest. Every time I press up, I'm pushing my hands together to maximize the tension. Now depending upon your level of ability, you might be able to do loads of these. Other people might struggle. So do what you can. On the first set, you should be pretty much reaching failure, but don't go to complete failure. <clears throat> If you can do 15 to 20 reps, that is a good go. Then we're going to go into band raises. Nice and slow. I'm going to try and hold the position at the top for a second. Next exercise we're going to do will be a superset. We'll be working on the front delts and the pecs. First one will be the pipe press, which is kind of an easier version than doing the handstand press. Then we're going to superset with a single arm band chest fly. Again, this is relatively easy for me, so I'm going to slow down the tempo. Three seconds. Next one, we're going to go straight into the chest fly. Ideally, attach the band to a piece of furniture which isn't going to get flung across your living room. Face away from it slightly, stretch the pec. Hold, squeeze at the top for a second. Have to 
12, 15, replicate on the other side. That's exactly what we don't want. What you can also do to change up things a little bit, you just get on your knees. So instead of sort of bringing the band from low to high, it's more on a level plane. So next we're gonna do a tricep. So we're gonna do three exercises back to back. The first one's gonna be a tricep push up. Okay, so we're gonna try and minimize the amount of chest engagement that occurs when doing this. Then we're gonna go into a, a Y band raise. So you're basically going like this, working the delts, and then we're going to be going on to a foot elevated press up, okay? So let's start off with the tricep push up. This one will be quite challenging. I'm going to try and keep the elbows in as much as possible. So basically, you want to try and get yourself into this position. Elbows tucked right in, getting as low as you can, shortening the angle of the elbow, and then pushing up again like that. Slow and controlled again. Just thinking, okay, I want to push myself up my triceps. You should feel them burning. And again, the first set. Close to failure. You could stand, but I feel as though I'm more rooted in position being on my knees. Hands about shoulder width apart. Paws at the top. And after that, we're going to do foot elevated press up. So we're not going to go as slow as we did with the press ups we did to begin with because we are going to be a little bit fatigued. Hands on the chest again if you can. do 15 reps that's good going. We're gonna rest for about 90 seconds, get breath back and then go again. Okay so the last round this is gonna be another tricep. We're gonna start off with single arm band lateral raises then we're gonna go into dips and then finish off with band rotations backwards and forwards. So again don't get a band that's too resistant place it under a piece of furniture, lock your body into position, and we'll come up. So this is gonna be high rep. If I wanted to make it a little bit more difficult, I would stand a little bit further away. Ideally, Drive up with the elbow and pause. 
lean forward slightly to ensure that the tension is on the mid delt, right? I don't want people to be going like that because it's all on the front. Lean forward, maintain on the mid delt. So once you've pretty much reached failure on that one, we're gonna move on to dips. Now I'm gonna use the assistance of a piece of furniture because I wanna elevate my feet. If I elevate my feet a little bit, it's gonna make it slightly more difficult. If you are a beginner, just let your feet rest on the ground as normal. I always think to myself how many people are gonna ruin pieces of furniture doing home workouts. That does not feel sturdy enough. So what I will be doing, that feels a lot better. So I'm gonna try, as I go down, I'm pointing my elbows backwards and not flaring them. Lock out and squeeze at the top. Try and go all the way down to the ground. Maximize the range of motion. So full lengthen, full shorten the tricep. If you can hit 15 to 20 reps, maintaining steady tempo, you're doing very well. Then after that, I'm gonna get a more resistant band do the rotations. So this is also good for shoulder mobility. So keep pulling it apart at all times. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Touch the top of your glutes and then back. Keep pulling the band apart as much as you can. And your delts will start to go on fire. aiming for about 10 to 15. Like many of these exercises, the harder you focus and resist the resistance, the harder it's gonna be. Okay, so that is the routine folks. Hope you enjoyed it, give it a try yourself. Some of these exercises are gonna be quite challenging, particularly the first one, the handstand push-up. So if you can't do that, give it your best shot. But if you're scared of injuring yourself, just don't do it all, okay? Because it is pretty goddamn challenging, even for myself. The full routine is in the description. What I want you to do the first time you do this, track all the reps you've done, okay? And over the next few weeks when you're doing this at home, you wanna make this routine more and more challenging, okay? So you can provide more stress to the muscles. So hopefully you'll make them grow, okay? So there's many ways to do this, increase the rep range, increase the number of sets which you're doing, slow down the tempo, try and place more tension on the working muscle, or just reduce the rest period, okay? There's many things you can do, but ideally me. But ideally, but ideally make each week more and more challenging for yourself. So hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing more home workout routines for you guys to follow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.